Hello. In today's video, we are going to talk about a table manipulation function in Power BI called as natural inner join. Let's go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Performs an inner join of a table with another table. The tables are joined on common columns by name in two tables. If the two tables have no common column names, an error is returned. Syntax, natural inner join, left join table and right join table. So it takes two parameter, left join table and right join table. And return value, we get a table has an output. Remarks, there is no sort order guarantee for the results. Columns being joined on must have the same data type in both tables. Only columns from the same source table have the same lineage are joined on. Strict comparison semantics are used during join. There is no type coercion. For example, one doesn't equal to 1.0. And also you should note that it doesn't support in direct query mode. So let's go to PBI and with the help of a sample data set, let's see how we can use a natural inner join. I have two tables in this PBI, as you can see here. Let's go to the cost table first. So I have the cost ID ranging from one to five. You can see 1001 till 1005 and also the product. A, B, C, D, E until E, and also the cost. I now let's go to the sales table here or the revenue table. I have just three entry, two, three, and four. I am missing one and five. So now let's try to create a natural inner join and then create a table using this function and see what we get. So I'll click on new table here. Before I create a table, uh, I want to show you something here. So if I go to the table relationship here, as you can see, there is no link between the first cost table and the sales table. So if I have to use the inner join function, I need to create a join between these two tables. What is common between these two tables? That's the ID. As you can see here, if I go back to the data, you can see ID and in the cost table also ID. So this is the common column I can use to create a join here. So I'll go here and then drag this to sales ID. So I have the relationship between these two table and if I go to the properties, you can see it's a one-to-one -one relationship here. So now what I can do here, go to the data and then select new table. So I'm going to create a new table using an inner join. Let me call this as inner join table example or something. I'll call this as inner join TBL equal to use natural inner join. Left table, I can use the cost table and right table, the sales table. If I hit enter now, I can see only three records here, okay? But if you look into the cost table, I have five records, right? Starting from one to five. And if I look into the sales table, I have only three records, two, three, four. But if you notice between these two table, these records of two, three, and four, right? It's common between the cost table and the sales table. What inner join does, it picks up only those records which has a common match or the exact match between the cost table and a sales table. And then it creates a new table here. Okay, in this case, I have called this as inner join table. As you can see, only those IDs that is common between two, three, and four is coming here, right? And also you can see 
uh, the cost is the the first table that is cost table. So this is common in cost, right? And from sales table, sales table, I am getting this uh, sales ID and revenue. So that's what you are seeing here: sales ID and revenue. Make sure when you are trying to create the inner join between these two table, the column names are different. Okay, if you have the same names, right, it may not work. Even though definition, as uh, we see that uh, column names should be same, but it doesn't work. Maybe we can also give a try here. Let me try to uh, rename this with uh, cost ID. So instead of sales ID, let me rename it with cost ID. It might throw me an error, but let's give a try. Cost ID. You see, it's, it's throwing some error. The column with the cost of cost ID already exists in the inner join table. So I cannot use a same column name in the two tables. So that's one of the thing I don't know, but in uh, at the documentation page, it says the column name should be same something, but make sure the column names are different. And that's the reason I named the ID as sales ID in sales table. And in cost table, I have named it as cost ID. And that's what I get the final output in using my inner join table, cost ID, product, and cost coming from cost table, and the respective matching ID from sales and also the revenue. This is how we can use a natural inner join function. For people who are coming from SQL background, sometimes it's also called as equijoin, okay? Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.